But as, <laughs> but as far as this fight, like, it ain't his bitch. No. <laughs> but but as far as this fight not selling, let me ask you, like, as far as like like what you know about boxing, do you think Danny Garcia is really going to stand toe to toe with Devin Haney for? All right, so you mean Ryan Garcia? Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. I said Danny. Ryan uh, Garcia. So uh, what's going on with South Park? Uh, well, that's because we're talking about Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, if you missed at the beginning, anybody that's just now tuning in, uh, he was uh, just he's going a little crazy. And actually, I have another video that might make it a little clear. The thumbnail is the woodland creatures from South Park. So if you know, you know, they're on some Hail Satan shit. I'm going to be honest. The woodland uh, creatures. Yeah. Um, but here, I'm, I'm going to play this again because what you're getting into is interesting. Talking about the selling the fight. And this has a, like literally to do with that. So I'm going to play. This is uh, another video that we have with Ryan. This is by far the wildest. Yo, one. Andrew. Hey, bro. All right. Talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Where? <laughs> It's, it's really not funny, obviously, what he's talking about. But bro, holy they fucking shit, took crazy. me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied. I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give what a fuck. Real? I watch a lot bro, of. I'll fucking will show you every fucking video you could you ever. Too, though, you know what, I mean? what do you mean? Bro, like the voice. <laughs> you think this is a uh, Ryan I'm Garcia not, AI? I don't know. Bro, who's he talking <laughs> about, though? Yo, imagine somebody pro know. programmed your voice to go crazy you like that. If you yeah, of course. It, actually, hey, shit, we got on YouTube. They can fuck me up. No, I did ask. I haven't said it on my bookmarks, but you can go to the whatever AI website, put in 30 min or 30 seconds is the minimum. But it, you know, the more you have, the more it can fucking download information to sit there and read back or or speak back your voice almost identical. Like, well, damn, I believe crazy. that. I believe that. I I mean, I'm gonna be honest, because the one video we saw, although AI could fake videos now too, but we started off by seeing uh and anybody that's just now tuning in, we played the video where Ryan Garcia hopped on Instagram or whatever it was wow. to address this because initially this all started with crazy ass uh Twitter post yeah. where yeah, he's like uh Ryan Garcia's dead. Yeah, ha ha ha, all this crazy shit. And then he ended up addressing that with a video saying, like, hey, I can't get into my social medias. His house was robbed. They, they won't let me get in my money, all kinds of shit. So I don't know what he's insinuating because he's saying, like, basically somebody is holding him captive and that wow, he can't wow. even access money, he can't access. So somebody that has control over his entire life, some like hacker shit. Uh, but here, this is this is him discussing this on Twitter space. Fucking believe Bohemian <laughs> Grove is real. They <laughs> fucking tied fight. me down and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping little kids. And yes, Coke is delicious. <laughs> this on Twitter. Come on, fuck this guy, dude. Bro, fuck this dude, dude. Come on, come on. And the thing is, ironically, he's talking to... He went to Andrew Tate, who is accused of sex trafficking. Not that he did it, but it's just ironic that he's talking to somebody Allegedly. who's accused of sex trafficking. <laughs> was, Bro, you know and me get accused of shit, and all of a sudden they jump on fucking... Oh, Andrew my Tate, gosh. Like, Aren't you a sex trafficker? He, bro, wait. <laughs> <dude. laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm obviously free still, motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, but you know, you got court, you you got a uh, uh, cases for a reason, man. So you you did, just... he, did he touch you? Nah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they you know are. Who they bro. are? It's P Diddy. No, you know what? You, you know the path Andrew. you're going down is dangerous, my friend. That's I don't give a about. fuck. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a god. Let's, this is Ryan Garcia oh, and uh, Andrew the first Tate. point of contention oh, is I care about you a lot, and I can Andrew assure Tate's you from my own personal experience Andrew, that they Andrew Tate's probably one to set it bro, up. No, they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me, you fucking bitch. Probably his clubhouse, yeah. <laughs> and, and then his you little proof. Proof. I don't want to hold you down. You proof of this on you your phone? You kid rape, and yes, then the you can't say shit. No, no, no! I don't mean. The no, yeah, 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 yeah. Alex can get a fucking video. Now y'all see how we got how we got well, I have to be careful what I say because I'm in the middle of a judicial process right now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You want yeah. me to get I, you out of it? I can help. Well, bro, my door just kicked in if I, if I say what I'm yo, thinking. Yo, what are his connections? Okay, well, I can help you get out I'm of it. Yo, Danny Garcia is fucking people. some connections right now. What, what are they? You're calling this man Danny Garcia. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you saying Danny. I don't know why you're saying Danny. Tell everyone Start from the beginning. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Happened? Where did this happen? What exactly did you see? Why have you tweeted the things you've tweeted? Let people at home understand you a little Because bit. I don't give a fuck, bro. They raped me, right? Whoa. I was two years old. They raped me. That's some real I stuff. I have proof of that, too. He probably is a victim. That's where it all started. We're going to laugh at that. Uh, he's getting into some real shit now. Okay. You do know there's going to be certain people who believe. And I'm Ryan. You know, I like you. We've been speaking for years. 
You know there's yeah. going to be people who believe you're just saying this because you, I don't know, had a mental breakdown or taking drugs and you're repeating of course, some of, of the course. things you've said on the internet. And that, Guess so what? they're going to not I, believe you unless you come at it very the drug coherently. Testing, Andrew, Andrew, I'll go to the fucking Romania and take a drug test in front of your face. Don't go there. Bro, you don't want to come here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need Romanian jails. That for your fight camp. But, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just asking, like, you're going to have to be right, have to have like, a more, co more coherent story from start to finish for yeah, people to do. I fucking do, man. I mean, what you're what saying happened is what you saw. Bro, he either is also shit or he took a hit and my advice to you as a brother. I'm trying to make it. If you want people to believe you, you're going to have to come along and explain from the absolute beginning exactly how it happened, who was involved, how you got there, what car you were in, where you were standing, everything. That's why, honestly, I feel like you're going to want that. I feel like when he's like when he touched on like what he said happened to him that could really be to be honest where all this kind of shit stems yeah. from like he really could have something could have happened to trigger some kind of like repressed memory not to get too deep on the shit that's fucking wild but some kind of repressed memory which is common yeah. with like some kind of traumatic event mm -hmm. like that and you know he, that could be true and then there could be you know, all of that's getting kind of like confuddled with, uh, uh, you know, he starts to talk about like Alex Jones shit, Bohemian Grove. Bohemian, um, I'm telling you, bro. But no, no, I guess that could be related. Maybe. Hey, you know, Bohemian I mean, Grove. Y'all need to look into Bohemian where, Grove. Where is, where is, uh, all them rich, where is all them from? rich yeah, people. No, 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 no. I think they live in LA. Hmm. Do they not? Hey, no, and really Bohemian Glo Grove, Grove is out there. He lives in California, but I, I might be speaking. Uh, You're talking about Ryan Garcia yeah, and them? I'm, I'm pretty sure he lives in California, doesn't he? Yeah, I believe so. We can see where he's from. Cal. Because he said when he was two, this so should happen. But yeah, no, is man. That, I don't know if he's from so. California. Bro. We're about to pull it up. We're about to see where Ryan Garcia, crazy man, is from. Uh, yep. Los Alam Alamitos, uh, California. So. Cali what if all the... Did you see? He could have been dragged out there. Did right? you see the press conference with him and Haney? Yeah, where his, him and his, like, where his dad says some dad wild shit. About yeah, his, head or some yeah, his dad shit. said that De so Devin weird. Haney's dad has na a nappy head oh, or some yeah, shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what if this is oh, all just because I mean, look, I will say, bro, what's going on? The see what I mean? Like, what's going on, bro? <laughs> at that time, like during that press conference, I'm not gonna lie, I was watching the press conference. I was like, damn, okay, yeah, some shit might happen for the. You can even see how everybody reacts. Hey, the one side starts to say, like, yo, that's racist as fuck. That's racist as fuck. And then Ryan takes the microphone from him. He's like, chill. So, I mean, what if he's just doing all this to save his dad, man? Oh, my God. <laughs> his own dad? For being canceled. For being canceled. For saying Where's Ryan shit? Garcia's hey, dad? Oh, 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 because he said the nappy shit. Yeah, he said the nappy Damn, nappy. well, I do. I don't know, man. <laughs> listen, mean, nobody's listen. talking about listen, that right now. Conor McGregor said some off-the-wall shit during the Floyd Mayweather fight that he never got canceled for. So, I think that there's some shit. Fight, fight words or fight words. They're, they're trying to sell fight. They're trying to hate each other. So, I, I'm I don't always. Know if I there's only one no. human race, people. I, honestly, there, I, there. That's yes. I'm glad so, we're on that same page. I'm glad that's what we're. At. I, I, I don't think that, politics. I don't think that just because you're in the fight game, you're untouchable. I think <laughs> I agree with that. Well, no, yeah. I mean, I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I, no, I think you are making an interesting point because we've talked here about canceling before, and how if you build an audience that's kind of like based in this kind of material, then yep. they're never gonna like we talk about Joe Rogan being uncancelable. People that Me, started 10%. watching him from the beginning liked his controversial shit anyway so when like mainstream points at it he's still not going to lose his base right. that he's going to have um i just i might lose that little peak i had this month fucking. Yeah, hey. yeah yeah just right fuck now for repeating some fuck shit fuck that it. fucking ryan garcia's dad said hey, um, but yeah i mean honestly i'm bullshitting but i it is kind of interesting to think like we haven't heard shit on that and uh definitely at the press conference motherfuckers hey, were, I'll, were I'll, bugging I'll, but, <laughs> but but they're I'll, still I'll, fighting I'll, what this weekend <laughs> No, yeah. no, 420. 420, yeah, April yeah. 20th, yeah. So they're yeah. still fighting. And, and it's it was like, wild. He goes, he's smoking that. Oh, Mally's this weekend. Yeah. He's smoking that fucking uh, Devin Haney pack or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> on 420. Like, I, bro. Yeah, I 100%. Bro, it's a wild flex to be a professional boxer and be like, hey, I have to go. Again, boxing is 12 rounds, okay? Like like a title fight or these championship fights are 12 rounds. Like, yeah. It's two minute rounds. It's, it's three minutes. It's, three minutes. Yeah, but they all do that. But they all smoke weed now and yeah. stuff. Like, I, I, I love where you're going, but to be honest, I, I want to make it a bigger point. Think about how we see marijuana talked about from like in the NBA standpoint or the yeah, NFL but... standpoint. When we were growing up, I don't know about you, but I believe those motherfuckers were never touching drugs because what was always told to us, like, no. hey, if you want to get to that level, you got to not you, you can't cheat yourself. You can't be smoking weed. You can't be eating even bad. So it's like in order to get to the NFL level, I just wasn't thinking that or NBA. I wasn't thinking Kevin Durant was like smoking for weed us, before he goes for us, we have to follow 
strict rules for genetic freaks there's but, there's another all, there's another weed, side yeah but even outside of smoke right before the game like, these no, 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 no 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 football players i, I can well, assure you and basketball I'm just saying, before, before I'm games just saying, most people i never would do NFL that ever would games. do that ever bro oh, shit. i was I, not i, I can't actually, quarterback i can't like I, I have to think way too much but i'd smoke before yeah, just matches, sure, but bro. i don't do that shit no more there's a lot of people you think it's a negative for you overall yeah, because I get such a fucking adrenaline rush already. Like it fucking like. Bro, I don't know. But there's NFL players that have, have came on podcasts and I'm saying they've never played a game not high. That's that's, that's my point, Paul. Yeah, no, and, and is that it, back in the day? This yeah. would, this would never be said. No, it, it would never been said. Yeah. But but well, yes, yeah. but no. Like like I agree. Yeah. Well, where, where I was gonna push back a little bit yeah. was that no, like 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 I had a coach who he helped the uh, I had two coaches. One helped the the Cowboys during like the '90s for like uh, training camp. The other nice. one was a trainer for the Bucks, right? He was an athletic trainer for the Bucks, like assistant, yeah. and then went to high school ranks. But anyways, they both told me stories. Uh, one was they walked in on a, a big wide receiver for the Cowboys back then, won the Super Bowls. We all know has a Coke issue. Okay, that yes, room checks. Michael Irvin. His room, you saw the mounds of Coke. Like like it was not hidden. Okay, he 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 partied in front of everyone's face. Uh, heard similar stories about Warren Sapp. Yeah, but these guys heard, are these guys are outliers. No, no you're mentioning we right. knew, but, but like you said, we knew about Michael Irvin, and people used to look at that in the eighties, nineties, and they'd be like, "What the fuck? That guy goes crazy and party. Nobody can do that." Was an outlier. But hey. but 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 hold on. But but yeah. but, but the thing is, it wasn't. Warren Sapp and them. They they would they would walk around and he would say like talk about like like drug use and all that, but. They have the, the 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 drug testing things like like the dates posted, and that's where they say like if you fail a drug testing NFL, you're just an idiot. 